Hello everybody and welcome to the final bonus episode of Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep Final Mix. Now, we just have one thing left to do in this entire game. And that is take on the final bonus boss. And this is a episode I have been dreading making ever since I made the decision to let's play this game. Oh yeah, uh, this is not going to be fun at all. No, no it won't. This is going to be an absolute slog. But here we are. We're gonna play as Aqua. We have one bonus boss left and we gotta fight this bonus boss with every character and we're gonna start with Aqua for obvious reasons. Now, I'll level with you folks. I'm not gonna sugarcoat it, I'm gonna just tell you as it is. This next fight is the worst boss fight I've ever encountered in any video game. Not an exaggeration. It is the actual hardest and worst and most unfair and cheap, cheaply stupid fight I've ever encountered in any video game. So yeah, they're pulling out all the stops. We, we need to use absolutely everything in our arsenal. Now, here's the thing. I've beaten this boss with every character once before. Uh, beating it with Aqua is definitely annoying, definitely a slog. It's doable. Beating this boss as Ventus is a bit harder. Still manageable. Beating this fight as Terra? Borderline impossible. Uh, I can... I anticipate that Aqua and Ventus I'll be able to beat the boss without too much trouble. Probably take less than an hour for each. The first time that I fought this boss as Terra, it literally took me weeks of attempts to beat him. And this is when I knew of all of the tricks and secrets and ways that you can cheese him. So yeah, uh, I might have to I might have to record this episode in multiple sessions because, dear lord, this is going to be absolutely awful. So we'll get into all of the details of why this boss is awful. Uh, but first, we've got to actually make sure we're well equipped for this because our Venetus Lingering Spirit deck uh, with the mind squares and the potions isn't really going to be all that good. So, here we go. Off to the command decks. So let's put out all the stops. Light Bloom, Shot Lock. Definitely make sure we have Renewal Barrier, Counter Blast, Cartwheel. I'm almost debating unequipping Aerial Recovery for this fight. It actually might hurt us more than anything, but no, we'll keep it. We'll keep Air Slide and Double Flight. Don't think we'll be needing it though, but we're not going to have Homing Slide and we're not going to have Teleport. Those are really bad ideas to have for this uh, fight. As for what battle commands we're going to have, actually, is this deck number two that we have? No, this is deck number one. Okay. Oh, uh, so, Thunder Surge. If you still don't believe me that Thunder Surge is the best command in the entire game, you will believe me. Because we, this fight is basically impossible without Thunder Surge. In fact, just to give you an idea of how difficult this fight is, even the speedrunning community cannot beat this boss consistently. At least as Terra. These are the people who have basically dedicated their lives to being as good at this game as possible and finding everything out. Even they cannot beat this fight consistently as Terra. That should terrify you. Get it? Terrify? Yeah, so we'll have a Mind Square out. We'll have a Thunder Surge. Uh, triple Fyraga. Not gonna bother with Triple Blizzaga, I don't think. Just because that doesn't seem like it would be all that... It's just like a worse version of Triple Fyraga at this point. Don't equip any command that has... It takes two slots. It will not be effective. You know, let's just go Fundaga Shot, I guess. There we are. Oh, as for finish commands... We're actually not going to have Teleporty McGee. We're, <laughs> we're going with I Lived Snitch for Harry Potter. Uh, just so we can get an extra chance at getting HP. Because, uh, trust me... We're going to be healing a lot in this fight. We're going to be spending most of this fight at uh, 1 HP. As much as Santa's Revenge would be fun and Teleporting McGee is pretty good, uh, we, we're going to go with the Snitch. And just make sure you got the Royal Radiance Keyblade equipped. All right. Wonderful. Now, in order to access this boss fight, you need to have beaten Vanitas' Lingering Spirit. And then, we need to head back to the Land of Departure, combat level 13. Remember back at the beginning of the game where I said go back to the Land of Departure and get all the chests there as soon as possible? This is why, because if you wait too long to get those chests, 
you might have to beat this boss before you actually get a chance to open them. So here we go. Land of Departure. Let's visit the world. It's one of the Organization 13 members, maybe. Wearing the same coat. And he's got some backhanded lightsabers. So this is the final bonus boss known only as the Mysterious Figure. Slash unknown. So here we go. So that tornado attack, you do not want to get hit by. Actually, you don't want to get hit by any of his attacks. Oh yeah, he can just clone himself immediately. And all of his clones will attack you together. And kill you. Yeah. Yeah, that, by the way, folks, that's just a taste of what's to come. Every single one of his attacks, like Vanitas' Lingering Spirit, will set you to zero, or I guess in our case, one HP. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the cheapest thing I've ever seen out of a boss. So, for those of you who didn't uh, kind of get what happened there. So we struck him with the Keyblade and then something weird happened. You want to know what he did just then? We hit him with our Keyblade. We dealt damage to him. He froze time. Rewound time. Undid our attack and teleported away. He literally can just reverse, Uno reverse any of your attacks. He literally can change the past to avoid your attacks. How do you beat this guy? That alone just like cements it. Like no other boss can come close to that. He literally has power over time. And yeah. And because of that, uh, generic attacks aren't always the best. When he does that, make sure you dash away, otherwise he will uh, hit you. The fiery X's, you can renewal barrier to get all of your health back. That's nice. It's also hard to shot lock this guy. For one, he no sells pretty much all of your shot locks. And he also kind of teleports away so that you can't do with anything the shot locks. Oh yeah, and he can combo you just over and over again. And you can't guard the tornado attack. Yeah. Are you having fun yet? <laughs> I'm not! Oh yeah, also folks... Mind Square don't work on him. He is the only enemy in the whole game that is actually intelligent enough to jump over your minds or dodge them. I was mashing the guard button to get the HP back. Didn't work. And as you can see, like, he only has... He has, I think, six bars of HP, which you might think is not that much. It, oh, no, it doesn't matter. Because he also has stupidly high defense. He also, by the way, in case you couldn't see that, he used a bear. He actually can use Renewal Barrier, just like we can. He guarded our attack and got some HP back. And yeah, that's his Tornado Attack. It literally knocks all of your commands out of your uh, command deck, and you got to pick them up again. So we dealt like a tiny bit of damage with our Shot Lock, but not much. Oh yeah, this attack is fun. He makes a bunch of orbs and they shoot lasers at you. Thankfully, yeah. For this fight, you basically have to use Aqua's maximum invulnerability frames on her cartwheel. Which you can only get if your cartwheel is max level, by the way. Heal. 
At least the music in this fight is absolutely amazing. You can destroy his clones pretty easily if you can get a hit on them, but that's an if. Yikes. Yikes. Alright. So at this point, uh, we're not retrying that fight, because there's something I have uh, neglected to tell you all. So, first off, we're getting a different deck. Our deck, basically to beat this fight, you need four Thunder Surges and four Kiragas. There's not really any way you're beating this guy without them. I know there are videos on YouTube that do, but generally they're like, man, this took like thousands of attempts. It's like, no, that's not worth it. So here we go. Four Thunder Surges, four Kiragas. I alternate them so that way it's easier to get uh, a cure in case of emergency. Uh, we are keeping Photon Shards as our shot lock because that can actually do a little bit better than Light Bloom. We're still going to go back to I Lived Snitch. And there's one other thing. This is so stupid, folks. You want to know something? Every single ability that you have equipped will make this fight harder. This guy, the mysterious figure, the more abilities you have equipped, the faster he will attack you. The less downtime he'll have between attacks, and he becomes more aggressive. So if you want to make this fight more manageable, you actually want to unequip any abilities you don't need for this fight. So... Going for them. So, okay. We want Scan. We want Leaf Bracer. Second Chance and once more. Absolutely, we want them. Damage Siphon. Yeah, you bet. EXP Walker, EXP Chance. Probably not important. So, I'll keep EXP Walker on in case I level up in the fight. But I'll unequip EXP Chance. Combo Plus and Air Combo Plus. No. No, we don't need those. Uh, we do want the five Treasure Magnets in case we get hit by his Tornado Attack and have to pick up our commands again. Treasure Magnets will help with that. HP Prize Plus. Completely useless. Link Prize Plus, completely useless. Lucky Strike, completely useless. HP Boost, also useless. Every single one of his attacks just sets you to 1 HP, regardless of how much you have. So yeah, that's terrible. Fire Boost, we are not using any fire attacks, so that's not good. Blizzard Boost, we're not using any ice attacks. That's also not good. We will keep the Thunder Boosts, which will let our Thunder Surges deal more damage. Cure Boost, again, doesn't matter. Every single one of his attacks just sets us back to 1 HP, so it really doesn't matter how much we cure. The item boost does not matter. We don't ha are using items. We will want attack haste and magic haste to get our commands reloaded as fast as possible. Unequipping the combo finisher boosts. Uh, we will keep finish boost in case we get ribbon mixer. Which can happen using Thunder Surge with the Royal Radiance Keyblade. But physical attacks, since he can just rewind them, it um, yeah, it doesn't, really, uh, it doesn't really matter. Fire screen, all of the screen attacks doesn't matter because, he, again... He sets your HP to zero. We will keep Reload Boost to help our stuff reload faster when we're at one HP, which is most of the fight. Defender, doesn't matter. And yeah, there we go. So we actually have just unequipped a huge amount of our abilities, and that is actually going to make the fight slightly easier. Only slightly easier. Like, he's still going to be stupidly difficult. And we're also going to stop at the Mysterious Tower just to save our settings in case we have to change them again. But no, seriously, unequip your abilities. It will make the fight slightly more bearable. And this is not just me being weird. No, this is confirmed. So this this fight basically amounts to knowing when to go, when to dodge, when to guard, when to heal, and when to thunder surge him. Here's the problem, like. It's so hard to even heal, because he pretty much always just uh, attacks you afterwards. This attack is perfect to Thunder Surge through. So is his Tornado attack, if you use Thunder Surge right before the Tornado hits you. His combos you just kind of want to avoid. That's his Rising Sun attack. That one's always a delight. So yeah, his Renewal Barrier can heal him, which is annoying. But it doesn't heal him that much, because we don't deal that much damage to him. That is annoying. He can teleport out of the way while you're Thunder Surging him. And remember, folks, Aqua has the Infinite Invincibility Frames Cartwheel. Terra does not. Do you see the problem? Yeah, you see how he was just standing there for a long period of time? That's because we had those abilities unequipped. If we have max abilities equipped, then he will literally just attack immediately. 
Also, that fiery attack was his version of Raging Storm. Aqua can have Raging Storm, but his version is way better because he's invincible while using it. Or at the very least, Raging Storm isn't a huge commitment for him. Also, I want to point something out, folks. If you were playing the PSP version, this guy was even harder. You know, you saw how he just did his gra whip grapple attack on us? So in this, when he grapples you with the whip, he'll pull him, he'll pull you pull you towards him, and then he'll attack you, and it'll lower your HP. In the PSP version, if you got hit by the whip, the whip also reduced you to 1 HP. Which meant that uh, if you got grabbed by the whip, it's basically just instant death. He would, like, grab you, lower you to 1 HP, pull you over, and then attack you, and then you were just dead. It was super stupid. So yeah, this guy's actually harder in the original version. But as you can see, we've almost gotten two bars of his HP down. Okay, when he's doing Raging Storm, I'm just gonna keep staggering from the damage. And just, you gotta air dodge away from that. We still haven't seen his two stupidly uh, cheap attacks yet. Actually, no, we've seen his Time Rewind attack. He doesn't use Time Rewind when you use Thunder Surge as well, so that's part of the reason why it's so good. Okay, here we go. This is his desperation move. It's super stupid. He becomes completely invisible and invincible. You can't lock onto him. He stays like this for a full minute and is just constantly attacking you. So when he does this... Oh, yep, and he can use Mega Flare as well. All that that's happening behind us, that's Mega Flare. So when this happens, you just need to spam Cartwheel constantly. Yeah, um, when you fight this guy, say goodbye to your square button on your controller. Because your square button's going to break from how much you have to spam it. That violin is gorgeous, though. And this is one of the nice things about having uh, the Royal Radiance Keyblade. You can potentially enter the Rhythm Mixer command style quickly, even though you don't get many opportunities to actually hit him. And if you do, you can potentially unleash the Finisher, which, don't get me wrong, it doesn't deal nearly as much damage against the Mysterious Figure as it would against basically any other enemy in the game, but it can still knock out, like, a good amount of HP. And we might have to bank on that when we play as Terra. Oh, Alright, that's a new attack. So he uses Force Lightning on us, and which casts Doom. Uh-oh, that's bad, that's bad, that's bad. So yeah, he basically uses Force Lightning against us, which then we have to mash the X button before five seconds are up, otherwise it will kill us. And every time he uses that attack against us, uh, it becomes harder and harder to avoid. So if he uses that on you like three times, you're just dead. This guy's definitely got style. I like the backhanded uh, saber attacks, but man, you are such a cheap fight. Okay, when he makes his clones, you want to try to Thunder Surge all of them, because at least if you're not at level 1, a Thunder Surge will just instantly kill them. And touching them with Thunder Surge will kill the clones. And if you saw that, like, blue... Not that attack, but like the really quick, like, what the heck? My cartwheel didn't work. Man, we got close to killing him that time. Thank <laughs> you. 
All right, we went to Rhythm Mixer. The real question is, can we stay in Rhythm Mixer? Yes, please keep spamming your easiest attack. That's not your easiest attack. Well, that is, that is one of his attacks where you can easily get a Thunder Surge off on him. Obviously, the Fire X attack is the best for punishing and avoiding and healing. Because it's easy to do all of that. Darn it. When he tries to go invisible slash invincible, there is, I think you can hit him with a Thunder Surge right beforehand and you can potentially interrupt it. But, obviously, because you get almost no warning when he does that, it's pretty hard to do. And dog on it, I'm gonna lose my Rhythm Mixer. No! I think already the circle button on my controller is not as responsive as it normally is, because I'm not cartwheeling at uh, as fast of a rate as I could be. I do like the wide variety to this guy's attacks, I just don't like how unfair he is. Like, I think this was the fight where they're like, well, shoot, in Birth by Sweep you can have access to so many incredibly broken abilities, so we gotta make a boss that can either counter all of them or can have just as annoyingly broken abilities. I forgot he can Meteor and Mega Flare. They seem similar, but they're a little different. Yikes. There wasn't any easy way out of that one. He made clones and had fire around him. I do not like the mysterious figure. At all. Birth by Sleep is the only game in the Kingdom Hearts series where you can just spam a button and avoid all damage. Oh, what? But I couldn't heal. Mysterious figure's just like, I don't care. There are no rules in the game when Mysterious figures out. Yeah. I hate it when he does that. Especially when he follows up that... Like, oh, I, I, <laughs> I Thunder Surged you during a short combo, then he follows it up with a long combo and just kills you. Command style change killed me. The real problem is there isn't any con no, this is one of the many real problems. There's no real consistency 
with the Thunder Surge. Like, you can hit Thunder- you can hit him with Thunder Surge and it can stagger him all the time. Or you could hit him with Thunder Surge and then he just breaks out, teleports, and then does his combo attack and, uh, hits you. Okay, now just wait it out. I feel like, uh, no, even his, even his X attack is still not a guaranteed, uh, stagger. Shoot, you can't, you can't block the tornado. Which, I mean, hey, that actually kind of makes sense. You can't just be like, guard, and then the tornado's like, oh, my mistake. If it did, then tornadoes would not be that big of a deal in real life. I hate it when it looks like he's going to do his X attack and then it's like, Psych! Rising Sun! Uh oh. Like, bro, every attack you do kills me in one hit. You don't need to do this long combo. And by the way, he will kill you in one hit, even on beginner mode. So it's not like, oh, it's just because you're playing on crit. No, even on beginner mode, he will just kill you in one hit from anything. Really? Because, that's funny, because I was staggering from damage, so you shouldn't have been able to kill me with my second chance of once more. But, like I said, Rules don't really apply when you're up against Mysterious Figure. And also, I want to point out, like, every single command in the game, other than Thunder Surge, is basically useless against them. I guess, technically Fire Surge and I think Barrier Surge can do okay, but Thunder Surge does the best. Does the most damage. Biggest hitbox, most invincibility frames, all of that. Uh oh. That's not good. Well, that was not a good position to be in. Didn't get my Counter Blast off fast enough. Counter Blast can also kill the clones in one hit. By the way, uh, he's at his easiest when you fight him as Aqua. Alright, stop it with the long combos after I heal. And he's probably like, stop it with the Thunder Surge. Do you have any of her attacks? No, I actually don't. I guess I can shot lock him. Like, only twice, though. <sighs> and just think, without all these, or with even more build, uh, I thought I had cure equipped. If we had more abilities equipped, he'd be attacking us even more relentlessly. There wouldn't be nearly as many gaps to actually attack him in between. I didn't do anything to my controller! I never- I have literally never connected a headset to my controller. And that gave me zero opportunity to break out of. Or heal. Or do anything in. Yeah. 
see how he got his HP back. I still got hit by the tornado? What? Gone it. He's like, oh, did you heal? I instantly do long combo. Got on it. We just renewal barriers the damage we did dump from the shot lock back. Did not let me bury her in time. Jeez, what has he been doing to make himself so strong? I at least admire that they gave this guy such a wide variety of moves. It's not like I have one or two moves that are super cheap. Deal with it. If you're gonna shot lock this guy, only lock onto him like three times. Otherwise, he'll just roll barrier and get all the damage back. <sighs> I was 100% still staggering from damage. I don't understand why he can just instantly kill you sometimes. One of the reasons why he's the worst boss ever. <sighs> Man, this guy has impeccable aim. What? Did he just stop his first tornado attack so he could do a second tornado attack so it could actually hit me? I think that's exactly what he did, actually. No! That was on me. He has done this rising sun move like three times in a row. Four times in a row. I have never seen him use that move more than once in a row, and he did it four times in a row to kill me. Rhythm Mixer, yes. Oh, come on! He just did his invisibility super move twice immediately after his first one finished. Alright, we're getting him close to his last health bar. Oh man! Oh shoot, that's not good. No! What?! That's why I hate being at 1 HP when he's doing his super move, because something dumb like that can happen where it's like, Oh, there was one frame where you didn't push the, summer, the cartwheel button in time, so uh, he killed you. With his move that hits the entire screen for max damage. Alright, I want to see what happens if we dealing with Ventus. He immediately went invincible, and he wasn't even close to be being at that level of HP. Wow. Is that like something if you D-Link, does he just instantly go into his desperation move so he can't actually use it? Because if so, that sucks. Okay, man, there is a lot of lag between when you can finish a cartwheel and when you can actually use a renewal barrier. Yeah, I have not even dealt a single bit of damage to him. I D-linked and he immediately went desperation move. Okay, so D-linking is a very bad idea. Got that one.
That would have been a lot better if my counter blasts had actually dealt him any damage at all. In this situation, where I can't heal, I just have to wait out the clones. Oh no! Oh, that's horrible. No, no, no. I cannot be in Ghost Drive. I'm actually going to D-Link and immediately revert so I can get out of Ghost Drive. That's right. I can't do- I can't do Counter Blast. I can't do Counter Blast if I'm in the Thunderbolt Command style, otherwise Ghost Drive will just truly destroy me in this fight. If I can't cartwheel like crazy as Aqua with max invincibility frames, then this fight is over immediately. So, nope, no Ghost Drive. I used my one D-Link of the battle to exit Ghost Drive and <laughs> nothing else. Actually, it, that's not a bad strategy, folks. It really is it. In fact, dare I say, it might be a big brain move. Even though, because I'm missing now just the tiniest bit of my D-Link bar, I cannot D-Link for the rest of the entire fight. Thank goodness Aqua has unlimited stamina. I don't know about you, but uh, I could not cartwheel this many times in a row. Did he seriously just do his super move again? Why, yes he did. Also, while I'm just mashing the square button to cartwheel, I'm also occasionally pressing the R1 button, so that way I can lock onto him when he actually leaves his super move. <laughs> yeah, you'll see there, he, he, it was only four seconds instead of five. Which means if he hits me with that uh, Force Lightning attack again, then uh, I'm just dead. There's no way I can mash fast enough to get out of it in just three seconds. Especially if I don't have any advance warning that it's coming. Let's try 
trying to hit me with the Force Lightning now. He knows if he does it one more time, it's just instant death. This is not good. My hand is already getting tired from all the button mashing I've been doing. Oh, you've got to be kidding me! The in the instant it ended, he uses it again. And again, this move lasts for like 60 seconds. So it's basically 60 seconds of you having to move around and spamming the, the square button. Because you can't do anything to him when he's in this form. Because you don't even know where he is. And even if you do know where he is, you can't deal any damage to him anyways. Oh, no, you don't. I don't know whether you were preparing a tornado or if you were playing your super move, but either way, I'm saying no to that. Oh, he's so close. Yes! He's done! <sighs> He's done. At least, as Aqua. Uh. Hey, idiot. He's just like, you think I'm dead? No, I just walk away now. Or teleport away. And here we get No Name, the final Keyblade. A Keyblade of long reach that provides an outstanding boost in magic and makes it easier to land critical hits. All that for a Keyblade with worse stats than Royal Radiance. Now don't get me wrong, this is without question... The, in my opinion at least, the coolest looking Keyblade in the whole series. I freaking love this Keyblade's design. It's amazing. The blue color, the time theme, the, it's basically, it's got like a clock hand as its uh, head. Because, um, as you probably guessed, this guy has powers over time. In fact, the achievement that you get for beating him the first time is called Time's Teller. So yeah, that guy's a time traveler. Yes, time travel is in this series. Oh, but no boy, is it stupid. But yeah, so that's the mysterious figure. And now if you're looking at him thinking like, okay, yeah, he was he was dumb, but like, come on. Really? Hardest boss fight of all time? Yes. Because we haven't fought him as Terra yet. Now, the Ventus fight is basically going to play out the same way that the Aqua fight did, just a little bit tougher. But the Terra fight, oh... I fully anticipate I'll need to spend, like, five hours of recording footage to beat him as Terra. At least. Like, I will be shocked if I can beat it faster than that. I kind of expected that I'd be able to beat him in under an hour as Aqua, and probably under an hour as Ventus, but... Oof, I'm not looking forward to fighting him as Terra. Alright, well, I'm feeling... I'm feeling confident, so... I'm gonna try to fight him as Ventus in the same recording session. So, first, we gotta make sure we deck our deck out properly, so, <laughs> no. As funny as that would be to use a whole bunch of tornadoes, tornadoes are not going to do anything against the mysterious figure, so no. Same deal. Four Thunder Surges and four Kuragas. That's the way it's gotta be. Multi-Vortex, nope, we're going back to Photon Charge. It's one of the only shot locks that can actually damage him. Uh, high jump. We're gonna say no to aerial recovery. We don't need aerial recovery, we just need air slide to get away from his, uh, grapple attack. Otherwise, the rest of that should be pretty good. And then, we gotta make sure we got Royal Radiance equipped as our item. Cool, and we gotta set our abilities, so... Alright, with the exact same deck setup that Aqua had, let's go fight this guy as Ventus. Hey, 
Okay, it's Battle of the Backhanded Wielding uh, Guys, I guess. So, here we go. I think the only advantage Ventus has against this guy uh, compared to Aqua is that uh, Ventus has Super Glide and can't enter Ghost Drive. But his dodge roll is still very, very good, but it's not quite as good as Aqua's cartwheel is. Also, we don't have Renewal Barrier, which means we got to be more on point with our blocking. We have a mixer already? Oh, can Ventus not... Can Terra and Ventus not guard the Fire Axe? Oh, if so, that's that's going to be rough. Yes, we're using Thunder Surge to get through those from now on. Come on, I'm just a kid. Alright, time to dodge roll like crazy. And I guess we don't get to use the rhythm mixer finisher. Because, of course, we never get to. I think I'd have to bring the daisy sorbets if we wanted to get, see the rhythm mixer finisher. Oh, really? That was a case of I was mashing the square button with everything I had, but it dropped every single input. Probably because I've been pushing the square button too many times on my controller, because the game expects you to just mash square to get out of actually having to devise a strategy for the fights. Well, even this fight, like, you have to devise... The strategy you have to devise is the cheese strategy. Like, there's basically no way of beating this guy outside of Thunder Surge cheese. But even then, certainly not e effortless. It's still, like, a crazy hard fight. Holy moly! How is he this low on HP? I haven't- I've barely even been paying attention to this fight. I was about to think, I wonder if I could just super glide away from all of this. Then I remembered he has Mega Flare and Meteor, which hit the whole screen. So, no. You cannot just super glide away from that. <laughs> oh my gosh! What the heck? That's the fastest I've ever beaten the mysterious figure. That just destroyed him. <gasps> what? Dude, okay, Ventus is best character. That alone proves Ventus is the best character. Wow, was that? Was that my second try as Ventus? And I screwed up so much. I can't believe it. Maybe I just, I probably just got lucky.
And was in practice from fighting him as Aqua all, a whole bunch. What? I... What? How did that happen? That guy normally takes like an hour to fight as Ventus. If you know what to do. And he's a lower level than Aqua was. How did that happen? I don't understand. And look at this. The complete report. We have the complete report now. If we go to character files, there are a couple of characters we never actually, uh, you know, looked at. Like, uh, Vanitas Remnant. A physical manifestation of what remained of Vanitas' powerful thoughts and feelings. Armor Varicus. A sentient suit of armor containing a Keyblade Master's will. No heart. A suit of armor worn by one who wields a Keyblade. No one knows who's behind the mask. I don't- I still don't know if No Heart is, like, actually Xehanort or just his armor fighting, but it doesn't matter. Then, Unknown, a mysterious figure whose origins, identity, and purpose are unclear. Well, he's the time traveler, so... That's why he can, you know, like, rewind attacks. And why he can just kind of teleport in and out as well, and why he can clone himself. When he clones himself, he's not actually creating clones. He's basically summoning alternate versions of himself from the future slash past to all fight you at once. And that's why if you hit any of them once, they disappear. Because then they're like, shoot, if I take damage, then all of them take damage. <laughs> that's at least my theory. And speaking of theories of time travel, if this guy's a time traveler, one really cool fan theory that I heard is that... What, because he's kind of sporadic in this fight where he teleports and like launches these huge sweeping attacks that hit the whole screen. The theory is that as a time traveler, he's fighting all three of the main characters at the same time. Which I think is awesome. It kind of explains his absolutely crazy attack patterns. I, th I, th I really like it. It's, su it's a super cool theory. But wow, I can't believe we second or third tried that guy as Ventus. Like truly, that, that's mind boggling to me. But I'll take it. Cool! Let's try fighting him as Terran now, and now you're going to see why this guy is the worst fight of all time. Oh boy. This is gonna be hard, so... Gotta have the proper deck set up, everybody, so... As you all know... Quadruple Thunder Surge, Quadruple Kiraga. It's the only way to go. That's the way we're going. So that's the easy part. And then the hard part... Is pulling it off. So there we go. We have all those. You know what? I'll try Ultima Cannon as my shot lock, but I don't think it's going to do a whole lot of good. We also don't need Aerial Recovery. That's for wusses. Oh, uh, yeah, we'll try Ultima Cannon. As much as I love Chaos Ripper, we're going Royal Radiance here. Because I truly want to be able to enter Rhythm Mixer. Because, keep in mind, folks, when you're in the Rhythm Mixer and Thunderbolt Command Styles, your Thunder Surges will deal more damage than if you're not. Like, in the Thunderbolt Command Style, it's only going to deal slightly more damage. If you're in Rhythm Mixer, though, Thunder Surge does a decent bit of extra damage compared to if you are uh, in just a regular non-command style. So that's something to keep in mind. For abilities, once again, we're on equipping all of the unimportant abilities, so that way a Mysterious Figure will go easy on us. That's my cannon. He, my, my cannon is that he can, he can kind of sense how many abilities you have and kind of gauges your strength based off of that. And so if you've got every command, he's like, all right, well, let's make this interesting. Oh, one other thing. Finish commands. Uh, we're going to keep dirt in your eye. I know I used Darth Plagueis slash I lived snitch, but, uh, oh, man. Hulk hands. <laughs> Forgot about Hulk hands. No, we're, we're keeping dirt in your eye. I have to. And it gives us so many invincibility frames, which will actually be really nice. All right. Land of departure. And no, before we land there. I'm going to land at Master Yensit's tower, so that way we can save our setup, so we don't have to change it all completely if we want to change something around. Alright, we've saved our new setup. Let's go take on the hardest boss fight of all time. A lot of people have beaten this guy as Aqua. Some even tried to beat it as Ventus as well. Very few people who play this game actually commit to beating him as Terra. Some people try it and then they're like, nope, this is garbage. And do the smart fiend and just stop. But hovers really want that platinum trophy. Remember folks, Terra's slide doesn't give him max invincibility frames. So, yeah, here we go.
Well, that didn't last long. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna have to make liberal use of Renewal Block and Counter Hammer, and especially Thunder Surge. What does Ultima Cannon do against you? Actually dealt him a decent amount of damage. Uh-oh. This is bad. You know, if I could, like, you know, guard one of your attacks, that would be real nice. I literally stun locked. I can't do anything. Boo! <laughs> I'm gonna put some dirt in your eye. If you can counter hammer the clones, you instantly get to use your finisher. Dude! Okay, so help me, if we can kill the mysterious figure by putting dirt in his eye, I w this will be the perfect let's play. I don't use the word perfect a whole lot, but uh, I mean, I think in this case it might be warranted. Only if I can cheese him with dirt in your eye like I did Vanitas Remnant. Like, look at this, I can barely do anything. And it wouldn't let me slide because my square button is broken from pushing it so many times. <laughs> Whoops. Okay, if we don't use Thunder Surge, we can just spam dirt in your eye. <laughs> but this requires us to guard all of his attacks. And I don't, I don't see that happening. Oh wait, we can guard the, uh... Okay. Dude, it seems like if we can use Counter Hammer one time, we can immediately put dirt in his eye. This is what the Let's Play is all about now. Bully Maguire helping us out. Get rid of <laughs> Bully Maguire bullying these bonus bosses. Uh oh. Oh, this is a bad attack. That's a bad attack! If a laser shoots you from behind, you can't guard it. And if you heal, it'll just damage you again. Could not guard that in time. Instead, we just got shish kebabbed. Oh well, at least one of these will make a great thumbnail. The thumbnail of this video is definitely going to be Terra dying to the mysterious figure, because that just perfectly summarizes this video. Oh, come on! I, I can't guard that attack. <laughs> Let's go! I'm gonna put some dirt in your eye. This is not the the way you should fight a mysterious figure. But it's the way I'm going to fight a mysterious figure. Is he actually jumping over the dirt in his eye? The key for this fight is to slide command. So you've seen slide thunder surge and you literally, you have to slide thunder surge to get through this fight. But even Slide plus Kiraga is great, because that can put some distance between you, and then the Kiraga gives you, you know, invincibility frames. Because Terra Slide don't have enough of those on his own. Oh, that's that's pretty much the worst thing that can happen. If he hits you with the tornado as Terra, uh, good luck because you can't heal, you can't use Thunder Surge to dash away, and it takes some time to pick up all the commands. And if he fires an attack at you that's unblockable, then you're kind of just screwed. 
Yeah, this is one of the reasons this is the worst fight is like, if he does a certain combination of moves in a row as Terra, you literally cannot avoid it. <laughs> Let's go. I love how Royal Radiance can help me put dirt in his eye at a faster rate. Remember how I was like, man, this this finish move sucks, but at least I can give it a funny name, and now like this finish move is coming in super clutch for the super brutal bonus bosses. No, that was my chance. I could have guarded that. I don't know why Ventus couldn't guard that. Was that just like a fluke? Tara, this is why you weren't named the Keyblade Master. Let's go. <laughs> Literally one counter hammer. As long as it makes contact with him, you get your finish command immediately. I wish that the camera was better, though. Why didn't it let me cure? I should have still had invincibility frames from my slide. And I was mashing the triangle button. Now, oh well. And for those of you who are wondering why I'm not really getting upset at this fight, A, it's because I've done it before, and B, I, um, because I've done it before, I know what to expect. I fully, like I said, I expect to have to spend, like, at least five hours on this fight. All of this is just like, yeah, I knew this would happen. Oh no. <sighs> sure. Why not? Why shouldn't that kill me? It's not like I had literally any opportunity to do anything. This counter hammer does do a whole lot of damage. Oh! Coward. He knows the power of the dirt. Terra, you're facing the wrong way! you guard that. I can't believe I got out of that. Not only without dying, but while also dealing a good amount of damage to him. Oh no, clone attack. You thunder surge the heck out of that immediately. Oh, I also want to point out... Technically, this is not the worst. The worst fight is if you do what I'm doing right now, fighting him as Terra, but if Terra's at level 1. Because not only are you going to be doing less damage, but uh, level 1 Terra versus Mysterious Figure has a really big weakness. Um, Thunder Surge does not one hit kill, kill the clones. Meaning that basically at a level 1 run, if he decides to use his clone attack, you basically just immediately Why? I know for a fact my invincibility frames should not have worn out by then. Am I literally just supposed to sit there and keep curing? And that's the, and like if he hits me with a tornado, then so be it. You die. You just die. Why? Well, yes, that actually is exactly what you're supposed to do.
Man, he freaking loves doing this attack when I'm Terra. He barely used this attack when I was Aqua, and he never used it when I was Vengeance, I don't think. Why did that kill me? Again, I should have still had invincibility frames from the damage dagger from the last time he hit me with the fire. <laughs> ah, well. Okay. So when he goes into this invisible, invincible phase as Terra, what you need to do is dash, thunder surge. Heal as soon as you get the chance. Then go back to dash Thunder Surge. Remember that Thunder Surge gives you max invincibility frames. It's not perfect, but it does massively extend the amount of high frames that you have, and it will give you better survivability. Again, not perfect by any means. That's very much a case of when he does his super minute long unfair move where he's just untouchable if he fires the if he just does the wrong set of things in a row then uh you, you die and there's nothing you can do about it okay i swear every time i put dirt in his eye he summons those orb things and then they hit me and then it doesn't let me heal and then i just die Okay. As much as it pains me, I don't think we can, I don't think dirt in your eye is going to be viable for this fight. While it did do good damage for a bit, at this point he just always seems to be out of reach of it. So instead, we're going to go back to Hulk hands. <laughs> Which I think is a good move. And instead of Ultima Cannon, we're going to again go back to a Photon Charge. I think that'll be a. Uh, Better choice. Not the Sorcerer's Loft, no. Oh, right, the mysterious figure. I really, really wish you could guard in midair. For some reason, it literally took like 10 Kingdom Hearts games for us to finally get to the point where it's like, oh wait, you should probably be able to guard when you're in the air. It's like, yes! Ugh! Oh. Okay! <laughs> Darn it, he always does his wind attack when I start guarding. Let me use my Hulk hands! I don't think I'm asking for too much when I just want to use my Hulk hands out. Oh, wait. 
That's one time where I'm actually grateful for the Mysterious Figure for using his palm combo. Dude! Look at how much damage a single Thunder Surge from Terra deals. That's not a word. Dales. Darn it. If I was just a little bit closer. Yeah, please keep launching tornadoes at me while I'm in the middle of a thunder surge. That's bad. Yeah! As soon as I got hit by a tornado in that phase, I knew I was dead. There's, there's no way out at that point. You can't dodge his, any of his attacks, and you can't heal. He's not for like five seconds, and that's way too long. Shotlocks can also get rid of the clones. Doggone it! I hate it when he does two tornadoes in a row. Because it's always like, I'll dodge the first one, then Thunder Surge, and then he's like, psych, I don't take, I don't get staggered from Thunder Surge. And I launch a second tornado at you when you have one HP, and boom, you're dead. Why did it not let me air dodge away when I pushed square pretty blatantly? Always does the tornado right as I block. This, that's like the 18th time it's happened. How did one of his clones survive my whole thing? Like, how? How did- how are they surviving all these Hulk hands? Hulk hands! <laughs> oh, doggone it, Hulk hands didn't even do any damage at all. Why? All I want to do is use hilariously named finish commands to deal a lot of damage to the mysterious figure. Well, that's not actually true. I, what I really want to do is actually just defeat the mysterious figure as Terra, but... And he's just standing there. Where this that is not where you were aiming, bro. Apparently he just turned around 180 degrees in an instant to fire that at me. This guy always launches tornadoes at me right at the worst possible times when I can't avoid them. How did that kill me when I literally was stunlocked? Also, I have used backhanded swords. I have nerf swords that are backhanded just like that. They are not anywhere close to being that, as bad effective. It's also annoying because his renewal barrier becomes a lot more potent when you're playing as Terra. Because Terra does much more damage to him. 
which means that when he renewal barriers your attack, he gets way more HP back compared to Aqua and Ventus. We want to get rid of a mixer out on him. The more rapidly you hit him in a row, the more likely he is to barrier your attacks. Which is a real issue. See, like, there was nothing I could have done there. Literally nothing. If I had dodged, it would have still hit me anyways, because those lasers stay on forever. I couldn't have guarded it, because that's what I tried to do, and I didn't have any commands! And I swear I timed my Kiraga so that the tornado would miss me, but uh, nope. He is addicted to those tornadoes, because he knows how much more dangerous they are for Terra. Ventus and Aqua, nah, they can just dodge roll cartwheel like crazy until they get their commands back. Terra has no such luxury. I could try D-Link, but I think- I don't think you're even allowed to D-Link when he tornadoes you either. I think those also get knocked out. Also, those lasers have killed me so many times when they should not be able to. When I've had invincibility frames or when I have activated a cure. Is it- is he programmed to, if you guard when he's not attacking, he just always immediately throws a tornado at you? Because it really feels like that's what happens. I guard trying to preemptively predict one of his attacks, and it's always the attack that can't be guarded. Can't D-Link. I press Dodge and Thunder Surge, and, and neither of you won. And now I'm gonna lose my Rhythm Mixer. I... there is no way. No way. Absolutely no way. I 100% dodged out of the way of that tornado. I pressed the button like a full second before the tornado and it just didn't work. I even pressed it multiple times just in case it dropped my input. Also, did you see him right there? I think he fired like six tornadoes in a row. He wanna- he absolutely throws tornadoes more frequently when you play as Kara. No question. He's throwing like five times more tornadoes when I play as Terra compared to Aqua and Ventus. He's also using this attack way more. Well that didn't work. 
would love to beat him up with a D-Link, but he just instantly goes into his unfair desperation move when you do it. It's not worth it. I don't understand. That attack also is just like, oh yeah, that kills you. If you press square or triangle after he hits you with that, you're dead. Because apparently that just instantly cancels your second chance once more. Even though it doesn't actually do anything. It's never the one that's in front of you that attacks first. How did I not get hit by that tornado? Like, I absolutely got hit by that tornado. Oh no, you you know what? That makes up for the tornado I shouldn't have gotten hit by. Hello, rhythm. Darn it, couldn't stop him from going into his super- No! Are you kidding me? I was literally about to get the finisher. Did I survive? You gotta be kidding me! The fact that he can spam his desperation move like every second and his desperation move lasts for like a full minute is one of the more unfair things about him. See, when I told you guys, this the desperation move as Terra is more about luck than it is about skill, I was not joking. OH MY GOSH! YES! Die. I can't believe it. The footage for this whole video? Less than two hours.
can't believe it. I beat him three times in under two hours. It's over. It's finished. It's finally done. Oh, man, this keyblade looks so boss. Oh man, I it would have been glorious if I could have finished him off with putting dirt in his eye, but we did that for Vanitas Remnant, so I won't get greedy. Wow. Um, so I don't think that accurately depicted just how much of a difficult fight that that guy is. But all right then, I guess he's gone. He's history. That fight, did that fight take the longest to beat with Aqua? That, I may have taken longer to fight him with Aqua than I did with Terra. Now granted, the first several rounds of him as Aqua were me showing off all the different ways he can be unfair with the sub-optimal deck, but still, wow. I can't believe it. I fully expected me to have to break this up into multiple recording sections, but no. I might not even have to cut a whole lot of that footage out. I can't believe it. That guy, I mean, that guy was definitely not easy, but wow. Uh, he was really nice to me in those desperation phases. Like, he, he spammed them a lot, but when he was actually in them, like... He was not spamming Doom. He wasn't spamming Mega Flare every two seconds. Like, I think we did get lucky there, because holy moly, he is not supposed to be... He's not supposed to be able to be beaten that quickly. <laughs> but if you want the ultimate challenge, yeah, level 1 Terra, oof. That's, that's just bad. That's like, oh, he used one of his this one specific move. Oh, yeah, you, you can't win. It, I still stand by this, though. This is still the hardest boss fight I've ever encountered. Because keep in mind, I had I knew in advance the strategies to beat him. Like, I knew Thunder Surge is, like, literally the only command in the game that can actually, like, damage him. I knew that if you unequip your abilities, it makes him a lot more bearable. Because... That's super unintuitive, but no. It literally, un I swear. Try it yourself. If you have all your abilities equipped, it's going to be so hard to get a hit on him. Because he will just be spamming attacks way more rapidly. Than you saw it multiple times for that fight, that he would just kind of stood there. Yeah, that doesn't happen if you have every command, if you have every ability equipped. The length of time that he stands there in one place is proportional to how few of the, of the abilities you have equipped. But yeah, wow. So, we've now beaten everything in Birth by Sleep with every character. I do believe there's nothing else for me to show off in this game. Now, as far as Kingdom Hearts games rank, I would rank Birth by Sleep as one of the better of the spin-off games. I still think I like Chain of Memories more, but maybe I'm just weird that way. Still don't enjoy the story of this game, but I do like the gameplay. Although, it's way too broken. There are way, t there are way too many broken things in this game. And they kind of balance the bonus bosses around that. And by that I mean the bonus boss is totally not fun and not balanced. That does get fixed in the future installments. So, I think this means next on the Kingdom Hearts Let's Play list, I'm going to stream Recoded for the first time. Never played Recoded. Ever. So that's going to be totally blind. That, that should be interesting. And then after that we have Dream Drop Distance, which is basically Birth by Sleep, but worse. But, no, it's still, I guess. Fine game though. Alright, well, that's it for absolutely everything in Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep. I hope you guys enjoyed this journey. I know I definitely did, and I enjoyed those last few uh, episodes a lot more than I thought I would. So, yeah, thanks for joining in, everybody. That's how you get everything in Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep. So, I really hope this was informative to you all, and I hope you guys were entertained through the whole way, and I hope to see you guys for future Let's Plays of mine. Thank you all much and until we meet again my friends have a great day and god bless